Google Trends allow you to engage in free market research, keyword and SEO research to help you identify your ideal and viable online business niche. Hey team, welcome back. I hope all is well. Now today we're going to focus on keyword research for your online business. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to use Google Trends for market research, keyword research and as a SEO tool for beginners. Okay guys, now just quickly before we launch into Google Trends, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and get started and walk you through Google Trends. <music> Okay, so to arrive at Google Trends and get started with your free market keyword and SEO research, all you need to do is head over to trends.google.com and that's going to take you to Google Trends. And this is where we can start exploring specific keywords, keyword phrases, search terms and topics related to our business type that we want to research and get started with. First, what we want to do is come down to the search bar and then type in a specific keyword that's related to your business or a topic that you want to search and start undergoing your market research. For us, what we're going to do is type in home workouts and then come down and select the search term. And let's say we want to create a home workouts online brand that provides educational content, provides workout plans for individuals that want to work out at home. So as you can see, I've entered in the search term home workouts. And then down here, what we want to do is select the country that we want to target. For the purpose of this tutorial, because this is an online brand, we want to target people all around the world. So we're going to select worldwide. Then navigate over to past 12 months and what we want to do is select a longer period so we can identify the overall trend of this search term. So what we're going to do is come down and select past five years. Then next to this we have all categories. Again you can select a specific category if you like but we'll leave that as it is. And then we have web search. Again you can select any of these search types if you like but what we want to do is search the entire web. So we're going to leave that as it is. And down here you'll notice the overall interest of this particular search term over the period of five years. Now this is between 0 and 100, 100 being high interest, 0 being low. Now you can see the overall trend over the past essentially four years has been slowly dropping. But then COVID happened last year and you can see a spike in search interest and then again that came down. However, the overall set point, average search set point has increased. So you can see that it has increased over the past year. And that could be because people are now working from home, people are stuck at home, they can't go to their local gym and maybe now they prefer working out at home. And then below the interest over time, you can see the interest by region. So you can see number one is United States. Then we have Canada, South Africa, New Zealand, and Ireland. And you can see a visual representation of the interest by region on this map. Now we can also navigate over to region and select down and click on city if we want to narrow down our research. But what we're going to do is leave it as region. This just shows that we want to target the United States, Canada, South Africa, New Zealand and Ireland or we can just focus on the United States. This is important because maybe you want to drive paid traffic to your online brand and this gives you an idea of the regions that you should target with your paid advertising. Then below interest by region, down here we have related topics and then related search queries. Both of these are based on our search term home workouts. On the left hand side related topics, you can see the topics that are related to our search term home workouts that are currently popular online across the world. We can also click down here to see more or we can navigate up to rising and we can come down and click top and this is going to show you the top topics of a particular topic that is related to your search term. 
we have exercise as a topic, human leg topic. Again, this isn't too relevant with what we want to achieve. However, if we navigate over to related queries, here we can see related queries that people are searching online that is similar to our home workout search term. Now this is important because what we can do is identify keyword phrases, we can identify search queries that people are searching online all across the world to find information about a particular search query. So as you can see, we've got best booty workouts at home, uh, body booty workouts at home. So straight away, these are breakout topics. So currently these have high interest. What I would do is create blog posts or create content about workouts, home workouts. Remember, that is our search query, that is our search term, and create a home workout that's based around your booty. For example, the number one related search query is best booty workouts at home. What I could do is create a plan that is specifically a booty workout and then I could also create organic content. It could be video or written format on my website that provides information about the best booty workouts at home. Again, we can come down here and see more related queries. So if I navigate across, you can see hit workouts for home. Again, I could create content around this. I could create a plan that's all about a hit workout and sell that online to the specific markets I've identified. United States, Canada, South Africa, New Zealand, and Ireland. So again, I can create organic content around these related queries. And then with different paid marketing activities, I can target these locations up here that show high interest in my search term home workouts. Okay, now if we navigate back up to the top, what we can also do is compare search terms. Now for a different example, let's say you're interested in investing or you're a financial advisor and you want to create an online brand. Then with your online brand, what you want to do is talk about topics that are related, that are popular to investing. And then let's say you want to monetize your online brand, your investing brand with services or products. We need to identify search terms that people are interested in, in regards to investing. So over here, what I could do is type in cryptocurrency and then come down and select cryptocurrency search term. Then on the right hand side, maybe I want to compare this with stocks. And then come down and select stocks search term. And now what we can do is identify and compare between both these search terms. Cryptocurrency as a search term and stocks as a search term. We can also add an additional comparison if we like. But for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is compare between these two terms as they're both very different search terms in relation to investing. And then down here, you can see the interest over time between these two search terms. Now, if we navigate over to the spike, which is between December and January, you can see that cryptocurrency had a spike in popularity as well as a small spike in stocks. Now, if we navigate over to the present data, you can see that both stocks and cryptocurrency are on the upwards trend, which is what we want to see. We want to focus on content. We want to focus on search terms, topics, markets, niches that are historically on an upwards trend. And you can see that both these topics are on an upwards trend. Over the past year, you can see that stocks have had two large spikes. And then below that, we have the blue, which is cryptocurrency. And you can see that cryptocurrency, the interest over time, especially over the past few months, have been exponential. So these are two search terms that I would want to focus when it comes to creating content, creating a product or service. This essentially shows the viability of my niche. And then again, below that we have compared breakdown by region. You can see that interest for cryptocurrency is huge in Nigeria, Indonesia, and Pakistan, which I wouldn't have thought so if I didn't do this research. And that would change my marketing strategy in terms of the locations that I wanna target. Again, I can select down to interest in stocks, and you can see that there's a significant interest in stocks for Canada, United States, Singapore, and others. So from quickly looking at this, you can see that stocks, we have developed countries that are interested in stocks. If I click on interest for cryptocurrency, these are more developing countries, while well, the first three are. And again, this would impact the way that you market your product, your service, and your online brand. Then again, below this, we have both our search terms, cryptocurrency and stocks below that. And then we have their interest by region in a visual format. 
Then over here we have related queries to both our search terms. So we've covered that. Take the time to look through your related search queries and depending on the structure of your online business, your online brand, you can create content from these specific related searches or create products or services that are related to these search queries. Okay, so if we navigate back up to the top, like I mentioned, you can add another comparison if you like. Take the time to search specific keywords that are related to the niche that you want to get started with, that you want to build and grow into an online brand. Research is key and you need to do your due diligence before you launch your online brand. As you can see guys, Google Trends allow you to identify and compare specific keyword search terms, topics that are relevant to the industry, the niche, the market that you want to target. I hope that makes sense guys. Google Trends is a great free tool to help you get started with market research, keyword research, and help you identify the niche that you wanna grow an online brand for. So take the time guys to use this powerful free keyword research and market research tool. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Trends tutorial for beginners. This is one of the most important steps you need to complete before you dive straight into your new online business. Remember, research is key. Now, if you have any questions about this Google Trends tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value from this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.